Hi guys, I am here with an, another interesting Ansel Workbank tutorial. So in this lecture, we will learn how to perform stress analysis on a hydraulic piston. So for doing that, uh, let's start. So click on static structure, static structural. So uh, a pop-up window will appear here. Now uh, in the second option, geometry. Uh, I have already designed a geometry in SOLIDWORKS that's why I don't need to design in ANSYS design modular if you want to design your geometry according to your specific dimension you can simply click on right click on geometry and open new design modular geometry and create your own desired geometry but because I have already designed the geometry in SOLIDWORKS that's why I simply import the geometry so uh, for importing click on import geometry browse so here I have folder hydraulic piston modeling and uh, here is you can you, you can also use uh, step file or IGS file or SOLIDWORKS file uh, I usually use dot step file for ANSYS because it is easy to import in ANSYS so I will simply click on this geometry open uh, so our geometry is successfully inserted into ANSYS uh, I will also put a link of drive which contains my design geometry for your use uh, if, you, if you want to use my geometry to perform this analysis you can easily have access to the geometry so then I will click on model, double click on model. Now our geometry is open in ANSYS mechanical. Uh, you can see it is a hydraulic piston. So uh, let's see this part. We have two parts, this one part and the other part is this. Uh, now I will go to mesh. I simply generate mesh you can also use the sizing option and other options in meshing like uh, like sizing method refinement other but uh, because this is a simple tutorial so i simply click on generate mesh and for after clicking the generate mesh a simple default meshing size will be applied on our model so you can see meshing is applied on our geometry then now I have to apply boundary conditions uh, at our model. So for applying boundary conditions, I simply go to analysis setting. Now our uh, static structure. So right click on static structure. So from insert, I will apply a fixed port at one end. Uh, this is fixed port. So for applying fixed port, I click on this face select option and then I will select this face. After selecting this face, I simply apply the geometry selection. So a fixed port is applied at this end of the hydraulic piston. So now I have to apply a force load on this side of the hydraulic piston. So for doing that, uh, I will simply click on body select I will select this whole body you can see the whole internal body is selected now I simply go to static structural insert uh, you, yeah. you, can, you can also do this by another way and that is much more easier because uh, I don't see uh, the static load load option uh, by using this method that's why I simply click right click on static structural then insert and then you can find force so I will apply a force load so here we have to select the geometry for applying force now I will go to face select option and select this now uh, press control hold the 
control button and select all the faces in this way you can select all the faces to apply load this one this this and this one now we can see that all the faces are selected so all the faces are selected i simply apply you can see the force is will be applied on 11 faces and here we have to provide the magnitude so you can give the magnitude according to your condition your application so in my condition i will put 450 kilo newton and uh, here uh, in newtons so i will convert into kilo newton simply multiply 450 by 1000 so this and then we have to apply the direction for applying the direction click on this red option uh, so uh, i want to apply the force in outward direction so here it is all uh, already in outward direction you can also change the uh, direction to inwards for, uh, for doing that you simply click on this so now the direction is inside inside towards uh, inwards so i simply click this because i want the direction of the force to be outwards so apply uh, now our body is already meshed and we applied fixed port force now we will we will uh, apply the desired results that we want from our analysis uh, for doing that click on the solution then insert deformation total deformation i want the results of total deformation and again right click on solution insert and stress i want to obtain the results of equivalent stress i want to also obtain the results of shear stress for doing that again right click on solution insert and then stress and here you can find shear stress uh, i want to also find also uh, apply the stress tool because in stress tool i want to obtain the safety factor results for doing that for doing this i simply click on maximum equivalent stress now you can see that stress tool is applied and uh, when i click at this plus sign you can see safety factor here so these are the desired the results that i want to obtain from this analysis from uh, applying on a hydraulic piston so now i will simply click right click at solution and solve you can use this option also you can simply click on this solve option this solve option and now our analysis is going to be solved it will take some uh, seconds so uh, now we uh, we have obtained our results so these are the results of total deformation in our uh, at our model you can see the red part showing that uh, at the red part this red part the deformation is maximum the value of deformation is maximum and uh, the blue area indicates that here the value of total deformation is minimum and these are the and at uh, yellow and green areas the values of the total deformation are intermediate simply these these are the values of equivalent stress shear stress here you can see uh, this bottom side highlighted by red and this is the this show this is showing the maximum value of shear stress and this is our safety factor so we can we can also see the animation in ansys 
so for seeing the animation you can simply click at this play or pause uh, I will I am going to increase the time now you can see these are the values of total deformation we obtained after completion of our stress analysis at hydraulic piston uh, if these are equivalent stress this is the animation video for equivalent stress similarly this for shear stress the red highlighted area showing that the maximum value of shear stress here and the blue area shows the minimum value of shear stress this is the safety factor so in this way you can solve any static structure static structure problem or stress uh, stress analysis problem in ansys workbench so that's all from my side thanks for watching my video if you like my video then kindly subscribe my channel also do like and share my video if possible thanks for watching this video